Hey guys, Jerome here at 18 Minute Fitness Personal Training Studio, and today I want to show you guys how to get all of the home exercise equipment you would need for a safe and effective workout for less than $50. Um, let's face it, there are tons of different pieces of equipment that you could buy, dumbbells, kettlebells, power racks, barbell sets, um, things like the X3 bar, which is basically resistance bands on steroids, uh, treadmills, ellipticals, all sorts of like ab widgets. There are tons of different things that you could buy, and it would be very easy to spend anywhere from a couple of hundred to maybe a couple of thousand dollars, depending on how hard you want to go trying to furnish a home gym. Um, and I'm going to show you how to get all the equipment you need to get the same results with only about 50 bucks. Now, I want to preface this video with two points. One, once I show you the equipment, I'm not going to be going into depth about how I would structure a routine using this equipment. Um, Jay Vincent has a very good home fitness program that uses some of this stuff. Drew Bay put out an excellent um, ebook on just bodyweight exercises called Project Kratos. These programs are out there and they exist, uh, especially within the HIT community. You don't have to look too hard. So I'll do my own version of those in the future. But in today's video, I will be showing you just a couple of options to kind of get the wheels turning about how this very minimalistic uh, equipment that you have can be used very effectively and very efficiently. And to preview one of those, I'm going to show you guys a brief video covering maybe the best leg exercise that most people have never tried. Um, it's a very effective way to simulate a squat or a leg press, and it is extremely taxing on the legs. The other point I want to make to preface this video is I am a firm believer that if properly done, isometric exercise, which means without movement, is every bit as effective for improving the general factors of functional ability with the exception of one of them. For those who don't know, the five general factors of functional ability that all aim to be improved through exercise are uh, increased muscular size and strength, improved joint composition, increased flexibility, improved cardiovascular conditioning, and finally improved body composition. And I believe, again, if you're doing isometrics correctly, you will make improvements to every single one of those um, as effectively as you would if you did conventional exercise or conventional high intensity training, with the exception of flexibility. Most timed static contraction exercises are usually done about halfway through a muscle's range of movement. And if you really want to improve the flexibility within a particular muscle group or more precisely within a particular joint, you need to gently apply force um, near the endpoints of the range of movement when you start to feel that stretch reflex kick in. And this can be very safely done with the resistance training, um, provided you're using properly designed machines and you're using a weight that you can control. So for example, if you're doing um, a chest press, you only go back as far to the point where you start feeling a slight stretch, provided you don't have any issues um, you know, in your shoulders or anything else that may limit you from going that far back. But getting back on track, isometrics will improve muscular size and strength. It'll improve joint composition. It'll improve cardiovascular conditioning, and it will improve body composition as effective as conventional exercise. I firmly, firmly believe that. So with that being said, let's take a look at the equipment. First piece is this. This is a heavy duty towing strap. Um, the brand name of this specific one is called the forearm forklift. You can find it on Amazon, $24.99 prime eligible. So shipping is free if you are a prime member within the United States and you get two of them. You should only ever need one. They are rated for 800 pounds, uh, lifting pounds. So you could potentially lift by yourself or with a partner, um, some kind of appliance or something that weighs 800 pounds. And the tensile strength of the strap is meant to withstand the forces imposed by that significant amount of weight. Now, most people will never be able to generate that significant a force that poses a threat to this particular piece of equipment. So if you can properly use this piece of equipment, um, you can apply an extreme amount of force isometrically without movement. So you can have a, a very intense muscular contraction with very, very, very low force on the joints. And that'll be very taxing on the body. Um, when I do isometrics now, for me, they tend to be far more taxing than conventional hip protocol. I'm, I'm starting to think the more I do this, that I'm going to start skewing more of my own particular workouts more and more towards isometrics. The next piece of, and I'll show you a video about how to use this in a bit. The next piece of equipment I want to show you 
and they're bundled together. I actually went through and found the exact ones that I ordered. And I should probably say now that um, I will be including links to these in the description and they will not be affiliate links. Um, I'm not standing to make any money from these. I'm just showing you the exact ones that I got. So the next piece of equipment that I would highly recommend are a couple of yoga blocks. And paired with that is a yoga belt. And the fantastic thing about yoga blocks is I keep them here in the studio in case I need to do isometrics with somebody. I also use them sometimes when posturing a client because not everybody is adequately built for machines. But you can put these between your legs and do a timed static contraction leg adduction where you're squeezing your legs together. Um, you could take two of them and you could simulate a chest fly movement and get a really hard isometric contraction in the chest and do that in a very safe way. There's lots of things you can use those yoga blocks for. And similarly with the belt, the belt, depending on um, how you have it tied and what you have it tied around can be an acceptable substitute for a lot of the things that you would use the strap for. The way that I like to use this belt is if I have somebody doing um, a leg adduction, squeezing your legs together against the yoga blocks, while they're doing that set, I will loosely tie this around the outside of their thighs, somewhat close to the knees. Once the time static contraction is up on the leg adduction, I maintain tension on the belt and try and have them do leg abduction where they're pulling their legs apart. Um, and again, it can be used for other things, but to get back quickly to this, so $17.99 prime eligible. Um, and this is for the uh, two yoga blocks plus the belt. So $24.99 plus $17.99 is $43 and free shipping for all the equipment that you need. Now, I wanna show you guys, um, because I mentioned a couple ideas about how you could potentially use this equipment. Um, and I've done other videos on timed static contraction, so I won't get into that exact protocol here. But I wanna show you a video of the best leg exercise that most people have never done. Um, I think a properly done uh, squat, a timed static contraction squat using this belt, um, is far more taxing to me, and I get a far deeper inroad doing that than I've ever gotten on a leg press or doing a high-intensity training set of squats or um, even conventional exercise. It, this will absolutely destroy your legs if you're doing it correctly, and that's kind of when I what I want to wrap this video up by showing you guys. Um, this is an excellent channel. Hope you can see this here. MBPT isometric studio. I'll have a link to this in the description as well. Sub to this channel. He has tons of excellent videos showing how to perform time static contraction exercises. And the reason that I picked his channel to highlight is he is using this exact same belt, the forearm forklift. So in this video, he demonstrates, and I won't play the whole video. I just want to show some spots. Um, first, how to get safely set up. You wrap the belt around your lower back, cross it over the front. You put one foot in, and then your other foot, depending on which hole, because there are three holes that you could put uh, your foot in through this to kind of make an adjustment based on your height, um, you can find a belt height that will allow you to get about halfway through the squat position. Um, the weight is going to be loaded through your hips, and because your own body weight is holding it down, you can push as hard as possible with your legs, and this belt will not budge upwards. This is a very, very effective way to do a maximum effort squat with minimal force applied to the joints. The weight is properly loaded through the hips instead of having a barbell or some weight pushing downwards through the shoulders and through the back. For anybody that has um, issues doing conventional squats, a properly done time static contraction with a belt like this um, is absolutely incredible how intense it is. You really have to try it um, and experience it for yourself. And if you and I have a couple clients in studio do that instead of my leg press. Um, and the great thing is, like I'm five foot eleven, um, but depending on where you put your feet in these loops, uh, my daughter is my daughter is under five feet tall and she can do it. I'm five foot eleven, so I'm taller than most people. But if you were to use the furthest out foot straps, you could probably be six three maybe six foot four or so and still get an excellent time static contraction with this belt and even if you couldn't do a tsc belt squat there are ways to do uh, leg extensions leg curls uh, adduction and abduction 
with this belt as well. So anyways, guys, uh, that's going to be it for today. I will include all of those links in the video description. Again, these are not you know, affiliate links. I'm not going to make a penny if you click the link and then order the yoga belt and the blocks. Um, this is something that I just want to show you guys and give you guys um, kind of an idea of how to whet your appetite of thinking like, yeah, I really can get a very, very safe, effective workout in without spending a lot of money. So anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any thoughts, uh, you have any questions, any suggested future topics for videos, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I will talk to you soon.